Hi guys, Misty here. Welcome back for another episode of oh Color Your World with Diamond Painting along with me. We're, we like to live on the wild side here, you know, like extra risque. See if I can lose some more footage. Kind of a deal. And this next one is 817 and it is a hazardous material sign? What the heck? Where did it go? Uh-oh, I lost my diamond. Funny. Missing diamond alert. <laughs> Missing diamond alert. It's somewhere on your canvas, probably sideways, so you can't see it. That's usually what it does to me. Either one of them want to talk when I want them to. That's kids for you. They, they don't cooperate when you want them to. My son is like, I'm not a circus monkey. I don't perform. Still recording. Okay, just checking. Just checking to make sure. And I don't know when it's going to stop. I just know that my space on my phone is getting full because right now I'm using my phone to record which is all right by me because I have an expensive phone so the quality of my video should be pretty good. I actually have a Samsung which I just got back I had a Google Pixel, which I hated, and I will never, ever, ever have another one. And I will stay with my Samsung for the rest of my life, unless they come out with some really cool phone that's somehow better than Samsung. But they tried to convince me that that was the Google Pixel 2 XL, and... It most definitely was not. No. All right, that's it for that color. Still, we're still recording. What's the next color? Eight twenty-three. Ugh, I don't like that. That's a lower triangle. Uh, I might be able to get away with doing those ones too, but I don't know for sure. <clears throat> oh my gosh, it's looking so gorgeous! So gorgeous! It looks gorgeous! Alright, so the next color is 917. Nice bright pink hot magenta. I do want to mention I still have not changed out the wax on my diamond painting pen. So we're still using the same wax. That I put in in the diamond painting 101 video. And... So, alright, let's just get this all placed and situated. I'll just put both of those on there. Well, you know, even though I'm videoing, things still gotta progress. And uh, so I'm doing 917, or sorry, yeah, 917, and it's a, a pink arrow down. I am curious. Do your guys' kids decide that they are just going to stay up all night long and not go to sleep because 
Mine seem to do that quite often. My kids decide they're gonna stay up all day and try to sleep all night. No, try to. <laughs> so that My kids think they're gonna sleep all day and stay up all night, and it's really driving me crazy because. This quarantine business feels like a very long weekend. 30 day weekend here. <laughs> and we're not going anywhere and doing anything. So it makes it really hard to transition the kids into something where they're getting up. And even though my five-year-old is doing some preschool. What do you want? Pop-tart? I think he wants a pop-tart. So even though my son is doing some preschool stuff, we can't always get him to do it early in the morning. So, um... And his teacher says, you know, don't force him to do anything that he doesn't want to do. But why would it, why would he want to do school if he could not have to do it? If he was given the option. So sometimes we have to bribe him to do it. Because he just doesn't want to. He doesn't want to do it. We try to get him into a routine where we're waking him up. We have let's see eight days left before we move. I still haven't heard from the apartment yet, so we're not even sure. For sure, if we're going to be able to move in on the 11th. So, we are still keeping our fingers crossed and hoping for the best. And we still haven't heard anything from unemployment yet. Except, actually, we did. We got automated phone calls saying, Sorry we missed your call, but if you'd like to be a part of the town hall meeting, uh, you know, like, um, go sign up for it at blah 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 dot com and um, you can get your questions answered there. But, like I said before, when they were doing the town hall meeting, they were talking about data and stupid stuff that, that is not even relevant to what people are trying to tell them. And, oh, go look for a, a form online to set up a phone request, and then they don't even call you back. And they and then you can't even find the form to ask them to call you. So, oh, and, and my husband did try to go down there, but they are closed to the public. So, it's like, great. You have no way of doing anything unless they decide to happen to call you which really sucks so not happy about that at all but i told him that going down there would probably not be very fruitful that it, they probably wouldn't even help him even if they were open because that's just the way things are right now it's just a mess Everything's a mess. So we're just trying to get everything like that we don't need all like packed up and ready to ready to move when we're ready. Um, we have stuff in the storage unit. So. The next color is 934 and that is with the letter V, which is not very many of those V's. They're all down here on the stem. We're hoping to hear from the apartment soon rather than later. 
I gotta email them probably too to find out. Make sure everything's still good. We are excited because the apartments they approved us and they approved us for a, a, a it's a two bedroom and it was supposed to be on the top floor the third floor and i was like man we wanted the first floor this really sucks um third floor is a pain when you go to buy food and you have to you know <laughs> You have to walk up all them flights of stairs and, you know, like, my husband uh, is pretty much going to be moving everything by himself because I have to help the kids and keep them out of the way and whatnot. And so it makes it really hard to, you know, just keep them in line and so I can't really help move but uh so so we we got approved for the apartment uh, and then we got a call and they said that and so the next color is 939 which is those minuses which I'm going to finish up the ones that I had messed up on before so back to the apartment the we were approved for the third floor apartment and whatnot and then and then come to find out the person that was moving out um i think they said that that um i think they said that they were they were breaking their lease so they were going to pay a penalty to break the lease to get out of the and then but then their house wasn't ready because i guess they're staying in an apartment until their house is built or something along those lines so so then they they told me oh because we were originally supposed to move in may i mean april sorry april and then so then that apartment became unavailable and I said, well, don't you guys have any other apartments available? And they said, no, we don't. This is the only one that's going to be coming available. And I said, okay, fine. Then, um, I, so then I, they call me back and they say, we, um, that we can't move in until June. Well, my husband was supposed to be doing some military stuff in june and he was supposed to be gone for like three weeks so i was like that is not gonna work like we that can't happen because i can't move anything <laughs> we'll be living in an empty apartment with no beds basically if if that happens and so they called back again and said well we we did find you an apartment it is on the first floor and i was like oh thank god it's it's on the floor i wanted it to be on to begin with so that makes me happy at least and so we are set to move in on the first floor and my husband's relieved because like i said he has to pretty much move everything by himself and moving things up a third flight of stairs would have been just a lot on him. He probably would not have, I don't know. He probably would have had a hard time um, moving everything in that day. And our storage unit is pretty expensive because we have to get a decent sized one. So we're trying to get everything out of there so we don't have to pay that bill anymore. And what not so but uh, you know we're a little on the worried side because of him not not working full time anymore for his job because they laid him off so we're just trying to you know figure things out and it's scary because we're signing a lease but, I mean, if push comes to shove, he would just have to do Grubhub again. 
So, I mean, there is that. It's just not ideal. But I'm definitely going to be looking for full-time employment for him at at least a wage that he at least had. So... And he might be able to look back into UPS. UPS used him as a uh, private car driver. Well, actually, they, during the seasonal time, they actually um, were bringing in people on a bonus of, you know, bring, like drive your own vehicle kind of a thing. And so he was going to do that he he was he got trained and everything but then they didn't even need him so he got he got a thousand dollar bonus for basically doing like two hours of training which is crazy because most places are not going to pay you to do nothing so but they you know thought they were going to be busy enough to need all of the people and i guess they were not so they just paid him a thousand dollars. Of course, the tax man took most of it, but you know, it, it was still pretty nice uh, bonus for doing two hours worth of training. And then he also had to, like, you know, be on standby. So during this time, he, I don't know why, but he decided, I'm not going to do Grubhub because that's what he was doing. I'm not going to do Grubhub during this time because I have to make myself available. I said, well, you really don't have to make yourself available like that. Because with Grubhub, you could just cancel the hours. But it was nice because he got to be home and my my 18-year-old Jason got So he got to come and visit in December and so that was nice. Um, but we were all sick like really sick in December so and then so Andrew and I were both really sick and then the kids got well actually the kids got us sick the kids were sick and then they got us sick and then my oldest son came and he also ended up getting sick so I'm not sure what that was all about but you know we all had crazy upper respiratory illness in December so I'm not even a hundred percent sure if that wasn't the virus or not but they say it wasn't here then but I just I don't I don't know so my husband is Cleaning the perimeters of the room and underneath the beds and taking out all of the kids' toys so that we have less stuff to move in these, in these last days so that we could pretty much just pack up the little bit we have and get in the car and start our new journey in our new place. Which is actually five minutes from my sister. What? Still good. Why is it moving? And my kids will be happy about that because then they can go visit her more often. Because right now we're on the other side of town and it takes a rather long time to drive over there like a I don't know like a 30 minute drive 40 minute drive and sometimes the traffic is worse because I was taking my son to school over there we would leave at 7 between 7 15 and 7 30 and did you throw away a toy?
and wants to throw away toys instead of packing them up. Which my son is not happy about. He's looking at it, he's driving it on the wall and he's trying to get your attention. Is it driving? If you're gonna throw away toys, you never do it in front of the kids. Don't you know the rules of parenting? It's like a 101. Alright, so the next color is 972, and it's H. H. It's taken a little bit of time, I feel, to get adapted to the symbols for Diamond Art Club. Just because I'm used to less symbols, more... Less symbols and more letters. What is wrong with this thing? It's like it's not strong enough. I don't know why. It has to be turned a certain way, I guess. On, for some reason, the magnet. I thought it was polarized all the same way, but like I said, I don't know much about. So we're doing H's. Which are orange. So next time I think maybe I will try to get those circular magnets. My husband never ever ever wants to move again. He is like like pretty much like planning on retiring in this apartment that we're moving into I guess. I tell him, you know, nothing is ever permanent, so, you know, don't, don't feel like you're gonna stay there forever, but, you know, to him, he's like, you can't convince me to move. I'm like, well, there are plenty of things that could change that, you know, um, if we start making too much money or something along those lines, because it is, uh, one of the tax credit places, so... I for it, another place that did the same type of plan and they said we made too much so you never know the tactics of these places so the length they go to to approve or deny it's kind of infuriating okay so H's are done 991 and that is a a hashtag sign. Hashtag diamond painting. <laughs> All right. See, we've already done like four colors, I think, right? Have we done four colors now? Let's see. We oh got. We did that one, two, three, four, five, six. We're all the sixth color already. See. Already on the sixth color. See, so yeah, we could breeze through these. Oh. I have to keep moving this around. Trying to also make sure you're staying in complete view of the canvas. Doing pretty good. I'm on number 18, so I'm getting there. There's only 35 colors, so I am getting there. I'm really excited to start the one of the dreamer designs. I haven't decided which dreamer design I should start. Maybe I should put a poll up for that. Should I do Over the Rainbow by Elise? I cannot pronounce her name and I refuse to butcher it. Or should I do Twisted Blossom by Anne Marie Bone? from Dreamer Design next. Which one would you like to see me work on next? Comment down below or if you want to answer the poll, I will put a poll up in the iCards. You can answer the poll there. Because I really want to work
work on squares again. I miss working on squares. Because I have been doing, I have been doing the rounds, because I've been working on the ones from Amazon that I got, and yeah, I'm, finding squares on Amazon is hard. It can be done, but it's very hard. What is he mad about? Let's see. We'll pull my my husband and my children. Which one should I do next, Atreyu? Should I do the rainbow rose or should I do the twisted blossom? What? Rainbow rose. You want the rainbow rose? Okay. What? I can't hear him. What did he mumble? Rainbow roses. Rainbow roses. Alright. And Andrew, which one should I do? I second that. Rainbow rose. The rainbow rose. Aiden, which one should I do? One or two? Say one or two. One. Rainbow Rose. It sounds like Rainbow Rose is going to win. It's got three votes already. <laughs> Over the rainbow, that is. Not Rainbow Rose, because this one is actually a Rainbow Rose. By... I don't remember who it's by now. Um, by... It doesn't say. Actually... I don't know who the artist is. What my husband really needs to do is tackle the, the closet because <laughs> my husband, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong, but he drives me crazy. He will look for something. Say we have a bag for full of clothes and items and the things and he will dump out the entire bag while he's searching for said item and then he will not want to pick it up after for a long time I'm like you just dumped out two giant army bags full of stuff to find what they call a cat card reader. And then you don't put it over, you don't put it all back in the bag. So then it's falling out of the closet. I am like, we need somebody to come in here. And like organize our closet. And we don't even live here that long. Okay, it's been a little while, but really. We we bought him some clothes when he started his new job and then then they gave him they ended up giving him freaking polo shirts. I'm like, really? We went and bought you all these nice, like, business attire shirts and you're wearing polo shirts? Like, what the heck? But he can only wear the polo shirts at certain locations because if he was working with um, the attorney's offices or anything like that, then he had to wear something mostly semi-casual or whatever. He couldn't, he couldn't just wear his polo shirt, but because this office is a little more fancy. So, um, he mostly, he mostly worked at locations that did not require that. So, it's like, gosh, we bought all these clothes for you. And then kind of find out you really didn't even need them. He has more clothes than I do. He is kind of a... He's kind of a pack rat. Don't tell him I said that. He doesn't get rid of anything. He, he tries to justify 
I mean, like, there's a couple of the shirts that I'm like, Andrew, those will fit my 18-year-old son, but they will not fit you anymore. They don't, yeah, they don't hang long enough. And then he says, but they do look. I said, now put your arms up. And he don't want to put his arms up because he knows once he puts his arms up, this is going to be too short because it's going to practically show his belly. And he just wants to justify not throwing away or not getting rid of anything. I will go through my clothes and I will throw two giant bags, you know, like I, I like for Goodwill or whatever. I'll, I'll collect them up and have two big old bags for Goodwill. And this guy's like got like three three shirts in that pile. I'm like, what the heck, Andrew? But he won't buy new jeans. His jeans all have holes in the knees because he'll get down on the floor and play with the kids and, you know, wreck his jeans. Or he'll come back from the store and I'll be like, what happened to you? Why is your jeans torn? Oh, I had a flat tire, so I was knelt down looking, and I'm like, oh my god, really? So, he's really hard on his jeans, and he doesn't want to get rid of them. Like, you have a giant hole in the knee. Come on. Or another spot that gets worn out on his jeans is the spot where he puts his wallet. And it'll, it'll have, like, a hole starting to grow in the pocket he will just keep it he wants to wear them forever and now we're doing some lying down with a circle around it a circle coming from it whatever that is I don't really know what it is but that's what we're doing I think that's the symbol we're doing And so, I've not been finding any trash in these drills. The only thing I am finding is some stowaways, which just means that when they go to fill the bags, they may have a few lingering from the last color or, you know, what, what not in their, in their... I want to know if you guys have any questions about diamond painting. That I can answer for you. Or maybe that I can demonstrate if you need some kind of a demonstration on something. <sighs> Does anybody else's children throw tantrums? <laughs> Mine seem to throw a lot of tantrums, i.e. specifically the youngest who he will run into the bathroom, lay down on the floor and kick the bathtub as loud as he can and then he will also he will also go to the door and kick the door um, if he doesn't feel like running all the way into the bathroom, but lately it's become more of a game to him, and he will laugh before he even gets 
halfway to the to the bathroom but it's like really frustrating because we can't really lock him out of the bathroom because this room doesn't have a lock on the bathroom door for some reason and so it makes it really hard to keep him locked out of there when it doesn't lock and he can open the door because it's one of those pull down doors like you just pull pull the handle down so it's easy for him to open and close and And we don't have anything really to barricade the, the door area. Is he telling me to go away? Or is he waving hi to me? Are you waving hi to me? <laughs> I don't know. He's waving, so... don't know if he's waving or if he's telling me to go away. I sometimes imagine he's probably like that kid Stewie from that show, like, probably like, oh mother, go away. <laughs> or, you know, like one of the rug rats where he can really talk but doesn't talk in front. Or is that... Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, Arthur. <laughs> the little girl talks to the dog all the time. And then the dog talks back to her or whatever. I don't know. I can't wait to get the large trays that I ordered from AliExpress. Because <sighs> these little trays hurt my hands trying to to hold them. Alright. Looks like we're done with this color. What's up, baby? He wants his phone, babe. And he's tossed it over here. Alright, so 33, 25. This one's gonna be a lot of coverage. There's a lot of them. So let's get started. The trays I got are like, you know, this big, so they will be nice to have because right now I end up spilling a lot just because of how shallow the, the sides are on these trays. could do a multi-placer on these if you wanted to. I'm I'm not a big multi-placer fan. And the reason is because I'm not very good at lining them up. I do I do a pretty good job with single placers. I can move things around if it looks a little bit off can be just fine but when I do a multi placer it seems like they like never line up so I'm more of a perfectionist I do not like when they don't when they don't line up properly I don't like that and um, sometimes with square drills um, if, 
if the drills are different sizes, which I think happens somewhat, it did with, I know it did with paint with diamonds, you know, some of the, some of them would be big, bigger than the others, and then they would leave gaps in between. Sometimes the multi-placer, like if you work in a section on a multi with a multi-placer, I feel like it leaves, like it does different things in each section. So I feel like it leaves kind of like a, a gapping in there because you worked on it in sections. And one of the major problems I had when I did my mom's canvas, um, my, I don't know if they were different sizes or if the, if the squares on the canvas were bigger or what, but I could probably fit another diamond in there. That's how inconsistent they were on there and I was just getting frustrated and you know I had by the time I had done that painting because I actually made that painting for my niece I um, have a copy of it for myself as well I just haven't I haven't done it and I, I did a repair video because it had really bad um, rivers on it so anyway I um, had a lot of issues and I and I have done several diamond paintings so there was no reason that my diamond paintings would not be you know better there's no reason that I shouldn't have been able to figure that out and I started on one side uh, and then, like I said, there was a lot of gapping. So then I started on the other and tried to meet them in the middle with the mess that it was. And I wasn't completely satisfied, but I did finish it. And I did give it to my niece for a present. And, um, but yeah, I was just, I was not very, very happy about it. But, um... Hopefully, when I do when I do my version of it, it's not as bad as the first time I did it. Cause he would have thought I was an amateur diamond painter with the amount of problems I was having with this one canvas. But goes to show that anything can happen and. Um, you, you could be the best of the best at, at it and still have, have problems if there are problems with, with the materials you're given, so. And that doesn't happen to me very often. Um, even with the popping drills, they don't seem to be as gappy. But Huikin, um, when you look at Huikin's diamonds quality prior to the little popping drill thing, you could see they were doing uniform, more uniformed, like all of them are the right size. And I mean, it, it kind of was to the point where I would have rather had just one cut instead of the two cuts because I want them to look all the same, but I don't have the patience nor the time to sit and pick through them and make them because one of, one of the top parts that where it pyramids out, uh, one of them is um, diamond shaped and the other one is squared shaped so to give it a different reflection refraction or whatever boy I felt like a little bit like a little Bob Rossi there <laughs> paint the little cloud it's a happy cloud <laughs> I loved Bob Ross he was a great artist and he was very soothing and I could watch him for 
powers. Even as a little kid, I was so mesmerized by the way he painted. I'm like, how can he paint a line and it looks like a bird in the distance? Or, how can he just paint lines and then look at, now they're happy trees. What? <laughs> He was an amazing artist. My husband and I, we started out doing puzzles together. Um, well, we started out just watching TV and then I had mentioned to him that uh, while my mom was receiving her cancer treatment um, at the doctor's office they had a table well so she she was getting radiation therapy and they had a table and uh, while we were waiting my oldest son and I were waiting for her to get done with her uh, radiation therapy or radiation treatment. Um, he and I would sit there and work on the puzzle that was sitting on their table because um, some people would have to sit there for um, quite a quite a bit of a length of time, I guess. So, so while we were sitting there waiting for her to get done. We were working on a puzzle, I think it was a, of, a, of an eagle, I think. And my son was trying to challenge me and saying, oh, I can put them in faster than you. And so he and I were searching all over for this piece. And I can't remember if we ended up finding it. But, um, we, he was on a mission, but I, I've always been very good at puzzles. My, uh, my family, when, when I was younger, my brothers and sister, um, we all, my mom, we would all work on puzzles. So, we would get the, these giant, like, a thousand piece puzzles, and we would, work on them all together sometimes as a family sometimes as individuals but we would we would work on them and you know even when I was a younger kid I can remember a story about how um, my niece wasn't very or my niece my cousin wasn't very good at puzzles so I would snatch the puzzle pieces from her and put them in myself because she'd take too long um, so I I would be told you know like let her do it she needs to learn to do it too and but I didn't have the patience to, to sit and watch her fumble with it and so my husband and I we started doing he, he had caught wind that I, that I did puzzles for quite a while and because um, I had talked about the puzzles I used to have in, hanging in my room from an artist. Um, his name was Shim Shamel or something like that. And he had these really cool animal designs and I loved wolves but I loved his art. I loved his art, but the problem was you, you couldn't really stick to a theme because he used all kinds of different animals as his theme. So, you know, I could find his puzzles, but then I'm like, I don't want to hang them all in the same room because then you got like penguins and this and that and wolves and um, so I had all of the wolf ones, any of the ones that he had um, for puzzles in wolves. And I had 
had some tigers and and such, but um, I really liked it. So he he caught wind that I liked it. So for my birthday one year, he got me a puzzle and I said, why? I've already done this puzzle. I used to own this puzzle. I don't need another puzzle. So it was supposed to be a one and done deal. Like, all right, just do this one with me. We will frame it and then we don't have to do any more. So I said, fine. And then he and I end up going to the store and we end up finding Thomas Kincaid puzzles and the Disney in the Disney version. So prior to finding diamond painting, we had started puzzling. And so we were getting, we were buying frames and framing the puzzles that we were creating with from Thomas Kincaid. And so Now our kids room is decorated in Disney puzzles because now diamond painting has come to me to the forefront because I I like doing No because I like doing the diamond painting more than I like doing the puzzles. Yeah. Um so my husband is having to do the puzzles by himself and that's like watching like molasses I think uh, you know it's pretty slow going because where my husband has put one piece in I have placed ten pieces so he would get frustrated and be like can you help me and so, the way my mind works is when I look at something, I look at the shape and I look at the colors and his mind doesn't do that for him. He, it doesn't look at the shape and the colors. I don't know what it looks at. <laughs> I don't know what it looks at, to be honest with you. Um, but it, do, it, it doesn't work that way for him. So, but I'm a visual learner, so if someone can show me how to do something, I will pick up on it pretty quickly. So, but with him, you know, he's, I don't know if he's, I think he could understand more maybe by reading than for someone to show him. So, he and I learn in different ways. And so, there's that. So, for him, he doesn't, he doesn't see the shapes and the colors. He just tries everything. And that is one of the things that drives me nuts. That's what my cousin, my cousin used to do. And it, and I would take the puzzle pieces from her and put them in myself because you don't piece in every spot unless it's the same color of the theme that you're doing. Bye guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more diamond painting content.